Hi all, welcome to another session of Ball Game Total. In this session, I am discussing about boron type clusters. In this session, I am mainly including water clusters, water boranes and what are their classifications and then what are heteroboranes and their classification also. So coming to the first topic that is what is clusters. Cluster is actually a group of two or more atoms in which these two atoms can have a direct bond or it can be a substantial bond between these two atoms. Substantial bond means these atoms are bridged by a small element like hydrogen or some chlorine etc. Coming to the feature of a cluster, it cannot have a central atom. Moreover, by forming a direct or an indirect bond between this atom, it can form a cage-like or a polyhedron-like structure. And this polyhedron structure means it can have a geometry like tetrahedral or diagonal bipyramidal or pentagonal bipyramidal or an octahedral geometry, etc. So in this session, I am mainly discussing about the boring cluster. So what are boranes? Boranes are actually a stable covalent compound formed between boron and hydrogen. And the simple borane we know it is BS3, but it is highly unstable at room temperature. But higher boranes when we are considering that is BB5S10 or B6S10 or B5S9 which are highly stable at room temperature. And boranes are highly electron deficient compound and most of the boranes are gaseous at substances at room temperature. So to name the borane type cluster according to IUPAC nomenclature, first we are indicating the number of the boron atom by a Greek numeral, for example di, tri, etc. that is depending upon the number of the boron atom. Then it is followed by a number which indicate the number of hydrogen atom present in the borates. So let us discuss some example for naming the boranes according to the IUPAC nomenclature. So first example is B2H6. In this B2H6, it has two boron atoms. That means the Greek name should be, Greek numeral should be di. So it can be named as diborane and there are six hydrogen atoms. So it can be diborane 6. Coming to the next example that is high, higher borane that is B5H9. Here there are five boron atoms. So the Greek numeral used is penda. So penda borane 9. 9 represents the number of the hydrogen atom present in that borane. So coming to the next example that is B6 ester. Here there are six boron atoms. That means the Greek numeral should be hexa. So hexa borane, then 10 hydrogen atoms are present. So hexa borane 10. Another example is B10H40. Here there are 10 boron atoms. So it can be Greek numeral will be deca. So deca borane, then 14 hydrogen atoms. So deca borane 40. So next example is B5H11. Here there are 5 boron atoms. So the Greek numeral used is penda. So penda borane and 11 hydrogen atom are present. So which is indicated in a bracket. So it can be named as penda borane 11. So coming to the next topic that is how boranes are classified. Boranes are actually classified into five types. First classification is closer borane. Closer borane means it is having a closed type structure and it is having a general formula P and H and 2 minus. And next classification is the nido borane and it is having a nest like structure and having a general formula P and H and 4 minus. Next type of classification is an arachnoborane. Arachnoborane means it is having a spider web like structure having a general formula B and H and 6 minus. Next classification is the hyperborane. It is having a net like structure having the general formula B and H and 8 minus. And last classification is the cladoborane. It is having a chain like structure having the general formula B and H and 10 minus. And borings, the last two classification that is hypo and glado borings have been less important because they are derived from these three borings that is closo, nido and arachno. So suppose if you are getting a borane and if you want to categorize that borane into claso or nido or arachno or hypo or clado, we can use some tricks to find out. So coming to the first example that is B5H11. 
So B5 S11 can be split it as B5 H5 and remaining hydrogen atom we can put outside. So there will be six hydrogen atom remaining. So it can be represented outside. So it can be B5 H5 plus 6 S plus. So if this six proton are removing means this B5 H5 become an anionic like structure that is anionic boring that is B5 H5 6 minus. So B5 H5 6 minus means it belongs to a class of B and H and 6 minus. It is a general class of or general formula of arachnoporin. So B5 S11 belongs to the class of arachnoporins. So coming to the next example that is B5 H9. B5 S9 also it can be split as B5 H5. Then remaining there will be 4 hydrogen atoms which are represented outside. So B5 H5 plus 4 S plus. Then if this 4 proton are removing means the anion will be B5 H5 4 minus. That belongs to a class of Bn Hn 4 minus. Bn Hn 4 minus means it is a general formula of a needle boring. So B5 H9 belongs to the class of a needle boring. So looking at the third example that is B8 H16. So it can be split as B8 H8 and remaining there will be 8 hydrogen atoms which are represented outside. So it can be split as B8 H8 plus 8 H plus. And if this 8 proton are removing means the borane anion become B8 H8 8 minus. And it belongs to the class of Bn Hn 8 minus. Bn Hn 8 minus is a general class of general formula of hypoborane. So B8 H16 belong to the class of hypoborines. So coming to the next example, it is a borane anion that is B5 H8 minus. So in B5 H8 minus, it can be split as B5 H5 minus plus again there are three remaining hydrogen atoms which are representing outside. So plus 3 S plus. So if this three hydrogen is removing means it become B5 H5 minus plus 3 minus. That become all together it become B5 H5 4 minus. So it will belong to the class of Bn Hn 4 minus which is a general formula of a needle boring. So this borane anion that is B5 H8 minus belong to a needle borings. Coming to the next topic that is what is heteroborings. If some hetero atom is bonded to boron in borings it is termed as an heteroborane. And these hetero atoms can be the group 14 in the periodic table that is carbon family or it can be group 15 that is nitrogen family or it can be group 16 that is oxygen family. And if these hetero atoms are bonded with boron in the borings, it is termed as a heteroborins. One important class of heteroborin is carborane. Carborane means a carbon atom is bonded to the boron in the borane, it is termed as a carborane. And one important point to note is that carbon atom which is having the atomic number 6, that means it is having a 6 electron. And this Carbon atom is isoelectronic with a B negative. B negative means boron it is having a 5 electron plus 1 negative charge is there. So it becomes total it becomes 6 electron. So a carbon atom will be isoelectronic with a boron anion that is B negative or it can be a BH moiety. That is boron, BH means boron is having a 5 electron plus hydrogen 1 electron. So total it becomes 6. So a carbon atom is isoelectronic with a B negative or a BH. So suppose in the boring if one BH moiety is replaced by the carbon atom it leads to the formations of the heteroborane that is carborane. So just like the boranes, heteroboranes are also classified as closo, nido, arachno as well as hypo and clado. So if the hetero atom in the boring belong to the group 14th means the replacement in the boring will be BH unit. And if it is a group 15th member means it will be BH2. The replacement in the boring will be a BH2 unit. Similarly, if it is a group 16th that is oxygen family means the replacement in the boring will be a BS3 unit. So we can use some tricks to find out whether it is a closo heteroborane or nido heteroborane or arachno heteroborane or hypo or clado heteroborane by using some tricks. So coming to the first example to find out the classification or to find out which category of the heteroborane it belongs. So first example is C2B7H30. 
So by the replacement of one BS unit from the borane, the carbon atom is joining. So we can represent this C2B7 S13 in terms of borane as BH whole twice B7 S13 because one carbon BH. Again two carbon is there so it becomes BH whole twice then B7 S13. So altogether boron atom will be B9 H15. Then just like that of a borane we are splitting that is B9 H9 plus again remaining hydrogen atom we are representing outside. So it becomes 6S plus. So if this 6 proton is removing means it becomes the anion B9 H9 6 minus and it belongs to the class of BN HN 6 minus which is the general class of formula of arachnoborine. So this C2 B7 S13 belong to the class of an arachno heteroborine. So coming to the next example that is C4 B2 H6. Again there are 4 carbon atom that means the replacement of a 4 BS unit from the borane due to the 4 carbon atom. So it can be represented in terms of boranes as BH whole 4 B2 H6. So total boron atom become B6 and hydrogen atom is 10. So it become B6 H10. Then if you are splitting as B6 H6 then plus remaining 4 H plus will be outside. So it can if 4 hydrogen atom or 4 proton are removing means it becomes the anion B6 H6 O minus. It belongs to the general class of or general formula of D and HN 4 minus which is the general for, uh, formula of nido borings. So C4 B2 H6 belong to the nido hetero borings. So coming to the next example that is it is a heteroborane anion it is a carborane anion that is C2B9H12 minus. Again there are two carbon atoms that is replacement of a 2BS unit from the borane due to this C2B9H12 minus. So it can be represented as BH whole twice B9H12 minus. So total boron atom become B11 and it's become 14 and with minus charge. So it become B9 B11 S14 minus. So if you are splitting means it can be represented as B11 H11 whole minus plus 3 H plus. And if these three proton are removing means already one negative charge are there. So total negative charge become B11 H11 4 minus. So it belongs to the general formula of BN HN 4 minus which is the general formula of nido heteroborins. So they see to B9 H12 minus belong to the class of a nido hetero borings. Coming to the next example that is C2 B8 H10. Here two carbon atom are there that means two BS unit in the borings are replaced by the carbon. So it becomes it can be represented as BH whole twice then B8 H10. So altogether the boron atom become B10 H become 12 that means B10 H12. So if you are splitting means we can get B10 H10 plus 2 hydrogen atom will be outside. So if 2 proton are removing means it becomes the anion B10 H10 2 minus. So it belongs to the class of BN HN 2 minus which is the general formula of a closer borane. So C2 B8 H10 belong to the class of a closer hetero borings. Coming to the next question that is the cluster type of SN94 negative which is a competitive level question asked in CSIR. So the, C, the SN means it is tin and it belongs to the group 48 that is carbon family. So in terms of boring this SN9 we can represent it as BH494 negative. Why because by the replacement of a 1 BH unit in the boring this 14 family are joining. So we can represent it as BH 494 negative that means it becomes B9 H9 4 negative. So B and H 4 negative which is the general formula of a nido borings. So SN94 negative become the class of cluster type that is nido. So coming to the next question which has asked in gate 2014 that is an example of nido boring among the following that the option is given. First option is B4 H10, second option B6 H10. Third option B6 H12 and D option that is B6 H40. So when we look the first option that is A B4 H10. B4 H10 it can be split as B4 H4 plus 6 S plus. 
and if this is not on or removing means it become b4 h4 6 minus that is that is a general formula of an arachnobionin that is bn h n 6 minus category so it is not the option a when coming to the next option that is b option that is b6 s10 it can be split as b6 s6 plus 4 s plus so if four protons are removing means it can be represented as b6 h6 4 minus so it belongs to the general formula of b n h n 4 minus which is the general formula of a needle boring so option b is correct when we look other two options that is c that is b6 h12 it belong to the class of arachno and d option when we look at the same manner we are getting the for a class of hypoborates. So from these four options, option B that is B6 S10, which is a class of an needoborates. So coming to the next question, which has asked in gate 2016, that is among the boranes and heteroborane, an example which belong to the cluster prosotypes. So options are given that is A option is B5 H8 minus and B option C2 B9 S11 2 minus. C option GE C2 B9 S11 and D option is B6 H10. So if you are looking the first option that is B5 H8 minus, it can be split as B5 H5 minus plus 3 S plus. So altogether the if 3 proton are removing means it becomes B5 H5 4 minus. So it belongs to the general formula of B and H 4 minus, which is the class of a needle board. So the question is for closer type. So when we look the second option that is C2 B9 H11 2 minus the carbon atom is joined if one BH unit from the borane is replaced. So it can be represented as BH whole twice B9 S11 2 minus. So total boron become B11 S13 2 minus. So if you are splitting means it become B11 S11 2 minus plus 2 S plus. So altogether if two proton are removing means it become B11 S11 4 minus. Again, it comes to the category of a needle heteroporins. When we look the third option, that is GEC2 B9 S11. Germanium again belongs to the group 14, that is carbon family. So replacement of one BS unit in the borane lead to the germanium. Again, two carbon are there, that means replacement of two BS unit from the borane lead to the carbon. So total boron become B12 H14. So if you are splitting means it become B12 H12 plus 2 S plus. So it can, if two proton are removing means it become B12 H12 2 minus. So it belong to the class of a B and H and 2 minus which is a general formula of a closo heteroborins. So option C is correct. It is belong to the closo type. When we look at the third, the last option, it is B6 S10. It, it can be split as B6 S6 plus 4 S plus. So E4 hydro proton are removing means it becomes B6 S6 4 minus. Again, it belongs to the needle type. So option A, B and D belong to the needle and option C belong to the cluster that is closer type. So option C that is GEC2 B9 S11 is correct. So coming to the next question which has again asked in gate 2017 that is the correct classification of B5 H5 2 minus B5 H9 and B5 H11 respectively are the options are given as A option that is closo arachno nido, B option arachno closo and nido, then C option closo nido arachno and D option that is nido arachno and closo. So coming to the answer. That is, if first option is B5 H5 2 minus. That means it belongs to the type of B and H 2 minus. That is the general formula of a closer. So B5 H5 2 minus belong to the closer world. So next was, next option is B5 H9. That means B5 H9 means it, it can be split as B5 H5 plus 4 S plus. So if four protons are removing means it belongs to the B5 H5 4 minus. B and H and 4 minus is a general formula of the needle. So B5 H9 belong to the needle borings. Last question that is B5 H11. So B5 H11 it can be again split as B5 H5 plus 6 H plus. And if 6 proton are removing means it can be represented as B5 H5 6 minus. 
This is the general formula of an arachnoporin. So, B5 is lagonism arachnotype. So, option the C that is closo needle arachno that is B5 S5 2 minus belong to closo, B5 S10 belong to needle, and B5 S11 belong to arachno. So, option C is correct that is closo needle and arachno. So, coming to the last question that is asked in K2008. That is why phosphorus P4 belong to which cluster type? So options are given. That is A option, it is closo, B needle and C arachno and D option is hypo. So when we look the phosphorus, phosphorus belong to the group 15, that is nitrogen family. So in terms of borane when we are telling that is one BH2 unit from the borane are replaced, then all the nitrogen elements, that is nitrogen family group elements can be joined as a heteroborins. So, in phosphorus, P4, that is, it can be replaced in terms of borane as BH2 whole 4. So, total boron become B4 and hydrogen become 8, that is B4H8. So, when we are splitting, it become B4H4 plus 4S plus outside. Then, E4 proton are removing means it can be represented as B4H4 4 minus. So, Anion that is BNHN 4 minus cluster, it is a general formula of a needle borane. So P4 actually belong to the type needle. So option B is correct. So that is all in this session. Hope you like this session. Stay tuned for the next session. Till then, bye.